Uh, that your one of your key players isn't playing much at all in terms of regular first team football. No, I'm not worried at all. I have seen during the training sessions that my team is actually very fresh and fit. Yesterday, we had our first training unit with Shakiri, and I saw exactly the same thing. And that shows you that it's often a question of your mental strengths in football as well. And he has a very, very strong mental component. The important thing in this uh, competition is that everyone gives their best, and they all know what a priority this competition is and they want to be there they want to give their best to win not only the game tomorrow but also the tournament muito muito boa tarde senhor Good afternoon Mr Petkovic my name is Antonio Reis for Sick Notices How would you assess this competition and what are the main dangers that Portugal has Well, many people were skeptical. Some were against the Nations League, especially representatives of the clubs. They didn't think that this could be an interesting competition. But we did see the contrary. Every single team in every single league wanted to uh, move up. They wanted to win. And we are actually very happy. We are very happy to be here today. And I think in the future, we will see that this competition might become even more interesting. That, of course, also depends on you, the press. If you could actually advertise this competition a little bit more, I think that would be helpful. As I said, in the beginning, the system was a bit difficult to understand. Why do the winners of the leagues not directly qualify for the European Championships? But now I think everybody understands the mechanisms of the tournament. And I think the tournament as such is of great value for the development. And the winners will be really happy. Lionel Pitet pour le temps. And, uh Petkovic again. And about Portugal. We played twice against Portugal in recent times, once with Ronaldo and once without. And we have seen that Ronaldo really is an extra treat. And the team as such, the Portuguese team, doesn't depend on one single player. They exist as a team. And their coach did excellent work in the recent years. So much respect for the Portuguese team. But of course, we didn't just come here to participate. We came here to win. Bonsoir, Lionel Pitet pour le temps. Monsieur Pet uh, Lionel Pitet, le temps. Mr. Petkovic, how has Switzerland uh, developed since uh, you played here in Lisbon, in Portugal, uh, uh, the last time? We've actually developed quite a lot, and with the recent experiences, we uh, were able to improve and we have individual players who uh, were present for important games, Sheridan, for example, but also Granite. All of these players have really proven themselves in excellent leagues such as the Bundesliga. Our team is a very young team and all of these matches are opportunities for us to improve. Of course, we have to show that every time, and that opportunity will rise again tomorrow. Petkovic, Alexandre Santos, uh, RTP. Alexandre Santos from RTP. I'd like to ask you how you think 
Portugal is going to be able to perform, for example, João Félix and Bruno Fernandes. Do you think this has caused some problems for your preparation? Is this an unknown factor for Switzerland from what you know from these players? No. And we will not prepare specifically for uh, the game that Portugal plays. We have to be ready to play our own game. We have to impose our own way of playing. But, of course, we analyze the strengths and the weaknesses of our opponent, and we know that it is one type of team with João Felix. But again, it's not just one player, such as Felix or Silva, who makes a difference. For example, if uh, Ronaldo is in one particular position, who is in a different position to actually assist him? So we prepare for all of these different scenarios. Portugal has played in, the nation, in their national league or in the qualification games. We have seen differences between their performance in the Nations League and the qualification round. They, the way they build up the game, the number of times they counter-attack. But we have looked at the different uh, games and we saw that for the last matches, Portugal wasn't able to score very often. So for us, that is uh, fairly positive. So we look at how they attack, how they defend, and I think that will be good for us tomorrow. A couple of questions starting here. Stefan Wies, Kison SDA. Stefan Wies, SDA. Stefan Petkovic. Switzerland lost the uh, round of 16 in the last two uh, European Championships. And uh, last year, again, Switzerland missed, missed its chance to actually move up. So how important is this Final Four tournament? How important would it be to beat Portugal? Look. Well, luckily for us, this is not the round of 16. And we don't have to be afraid that we won't move up. We're already in the semi-final, and we are very glad to be there. As I said initially, all the uh, teams in all of Europe wanted to be here, but we are here. So we're really happy. But again, we didn't come here to defend something or to participate. We are here to try to win tomorrow. We will give our best. We'll try everything. And if we have such high ambitions, then of course we want to move on to the final and win the tournament. Uh, qu question in, in English, please. Could you just tell us um, how important Granite Xhaka is for your team? And also, uh, what do you think of his time at Arsenal and whether you think he should stay at the club because it's been quite a tough uh, spell for him? I would say that Shaka is a very valuable player for us. Shaka is a player who brings balance to the team. And he is lucky enough to play with 10 other great players. And the same that I, which I said about Portugal is, is true for Switzerland as well. It's not just one player that makes the game. It's the whole team. But yes, Shaka is a very important team for us, or important player for us. And about Arsenal, I don't want to lose many words about that. I did see the last match, the Europa League final. Granite were, was one of the best players. And with regard to the future, well, that's the business of the player and his club. But that's not here. This is Tonia to speak. Mr. Petkovic, is it, is it difficult to play this tournament because it is a new format? Because it's difficult to read it. We don't really know what will be won. No, that's not difficult at all. Even if you play friendlies against a strong opponent or other types of national team matches, they're always important. They're important for every player. 
And for every player, it's an honor to play for the national team. And especially if you get to play against those large teams, those important teams. For us, this is an opportunity to gather more experience and to improve. And every win might actually call for yet another win. So for us, this is a good opportunity to see how far we can get. I am sure that this tournament will uh, be valued more in the future too. And this is positive for us on every level. Also for the translation, and thank you for Marco. We continue with the training and thank you.